Alrighty, chat, thanks for sticking around. Welcome back. Sorry about that. That was a longer break than was anticipated. But hey, we're here. Thanks for sticking around, friends. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. A strong word. Thanks for all the welcome backs. Let's get uh, let's get back to it. Hello. Hey, um, next time you go FK, can you not do something that we need access to to start? What'd you need? It was running, wasn't it? Well, if I need fertilizer, I can't switch from for seed to fertilizer and with you. And if Jonathan needed seed, he couldn't get seed. It's on seed, isn't it? It's on Hopper Three. Hopper Three still has seed in it. Yeah, good. What's important is Trent wanted to abuse his admin powers and kick you from the server, but me and Left wouldn't let him. Really? Yeah. It, it's funny yep. you say that, Leonard, when you like to spread a lot of lies. <laughs> Wait, did Dan leave or is Dan still here? Dan's gone. Dan's still in this tractor. Did he actually leave? I, th I thought so. I thought he did. Yeah. Yeah, he's. Dan gone. Dan is not gone. My, the last thing in my chat, my log, is that John joined. Dan, did, can we make Dan leave? In chat, he said, already, I'll be back later tonight. I know. Make him leave in the game, I'm saying. He's still in the game. He's right there. Hi, Dan. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, yeah. That's what, yeah, okay. We're good. We're chilling. We are chilling. That's why I was like, wait a minute. Oh, he's not gone. He's still here. All right. Uh, hey, guys, the, the, the truck is available uh, if you guys need to you know, use it. Would have been nice like three minutes, like five minutes ago. But yeah, that's a my bad, okay? I didn't think about it, all right? I should have. Forgive me for I have sinned, okay? Gosh. It was a nice view, though, for stream, okay? Colleagues. Is that what you guys are? Not friends or colleagues? What's Pat? What's up, bro? How you doing? Sorry, I got a little distracted. So. Why, why, Dan? Or not Dan. Special Pat, why? <coughs> why? Why do we need pickle jelly beans? Have you why? seen the TikTok where the... Uh X9 gets struck by lightning? No. I'm not. You know, it might sound weird, but like my TikTok's not a lot of like farming stuff. I wonder why, John. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why, John. <laughs> no, it's nothing. It's just a lot of like random stuff, but not farming. Uh huh. Okay. I found the trucks in a different location for John on his screen. Whoa. Okay, I sent you the Snapchat. It's it's really quick. What's wrong with jelly beans? I love jelly beans. You gotta get the right ones though, like Starburst. Starburst jelly jelly beans are the best. Just saying. Oh my god, I don't want to verify. I gotta do all this crap just to watch it. Okay, I don't. Know. Okay. Ciao, ciao. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you baited. Hold on. I can. What the heck is going on? Why do I hear TikTok? Stop playing. No. Close TikTok. God, I'm starting to sound like a boomer. I don't know how to use my phone, guys. I could just hear TikTok playing. Like, what does it be us? Oh my goodness me. Chat, I tell you what, some days. Uh, 
Uh oh, we have another railroader. Oh boy. Uh, sorry, the map is Alma, Missouri. Alma. Sunder, I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. You're welcome. I mean, hey, it's a great game, you know? You might as well play it, right? It is a great game. It's a lot of fun. In fact, we're probably going to play it Monday night. Yeah, we'll lock it in. We'll lock it in. Monday night chat. Railroader. It'll be our first time having to, uh, like, take cars east and west for uh, interchange. It'll be fun. After that, I don't know how many more times. I don't know. It's a fun game, but, like, it's going to have a shelf life, too, you know? You're on day three, and, you know, it's fantastic. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so all that's... Okay. All that's planted. Because, you know, we might have to make room in the schedule for Minecraft, you know? Draw road online. Did they change the HUD yet? I don't know. I don't think there's been another update. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, no to which one, Kimmy? Railroads Online or Minecraft? I, th I think the answer is yes. <laughs> Minecraft, okay. Why? 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 You we can... always fall into this trap. I know. And then I never play, right? Play and then I say one stream, and then you don't come back. And then I say I'm done with this crap. I'm never playing it again. Yep. And then I play it again. No, I satisfactory for you. No, dude, I put tons of hours on the satisfactory before we were done with that map. I don't even no ah uh, no 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 no. I'll put tons. Uh, we'll play satisfactory again. We will play that again. Yeah, our map just quit running. Our map just went to 10 frames. <laughs> Don't know why. Yeah, yeah, but Leonard's, like, uh, train system was cool on that, though. Leonard's train system? Wow, Trent, that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Wait, Leonard's <laughs> train system? <laughs> yeah, Leonard built all that train system him, himself, right? I, d I did. I've seen it. I'm the captain now. <laughs> I love the lonely bro. Well, Kimmy's your boss, so good luck. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I don't think so, Kim. I walk this lonely road. Oh, I think there's literally video proof of me building a like train system in that game, okay? Lots of it, too. There's also a Every video of uh, Leonard building it, too. It's not hearsay if it's fact. There is video of Leonard building. I'm not. I'm not saying Leonard didn't build any of it, but he definitely didn't build all of it. That's black guy. Uh, let me guess. Leonard's roundabouts are great too, huh? They are. Actually, I think you did build one of them, didn't you? One of them, yeah. You built that like third one, the one that was like up north and to the east, the one that had like the diversion. Past. Yeah. Yeah, like the free rights, we'll call them. Yeah. 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 yeah that's the only Which would actually it. really help a lot. Yeah. That was a good one. Definitely a good one. And we can't forget the John Deere train that literally just goes in a circle and has no purpose at all. I still <laughs> have that save for the record. Oh, I, I, I'm aware. Yeah. I do have it. I don't know if the John Deere train's on. I think it's still there, yeah. I don't know. I haven't been satisfactory in quite a while. I can load that map up in single player and get like 50 frames. But as soon as you flip it to multiplayer, it's like, mm, no. Yeah. Well, get, get rid of a couple of trains and might be able to still play it's on it. Not just the trains. Uh, what we're saying is Leonard uh, built the trains that broke the server. Yes. <laughs> 
No, I think the the giant power plant I was working on definitely didn't uh, uh, didn't help things. My turbo fuel power plant that was going to be at two different locations and like rely on train. It was going to be really cool. It was going to be sick. Gone, but not forgotten. You know. Actually, it's not gone. It was never finished either. That's okay. I think the whole thing with that, and we've talked about this numerous times, but like if we are going to play it again, we need to be very cautious. I think cautious is a good one about building factories that we need, not factories that we can build just to build. Yeah. The size of factories that we need, you know, and not I mean, build like thousands and thousands of something just to throw into an awesome sink. Although that is awesome, but it's, it's too much for, for multiplayer to handle. So yeah, they ever come down, come out with that next update, the thing. I mean, update eight's out. Is it actually out out? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe someday. I think the next update's supposed to be 1.0. Really? pretty sure that would that would be, be impressive I finally they, they one. did a change to unreal 5 wow all right how many can you have a multiplayer I satisfactory don't. i don't know yeah i don't think there's a limit but like, like a quote lot. unquote supported is like four or eight I know, I think we had more than four. Yeah, no. that's what's like supported. Yeah. Is four. Yeah, no, I was out. I was wondering, you were just driving along like you're living your best life over there. Trent's just out here, out here living his best, best life, Chet. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's, that's the big thing for next time we play. We need to like be very conscious of, of that. Eight or sixteen black hair things. All right. So the answer is yes. Uh, left. <laughs> yes. All right. Are we getting seed out of there, train? Is that working? Got that, got that white seed treatment on again, you know? There we go. Those of you that don't know, there's a little green light on the convey all. And when it's on, that means it's working. It takes a little time for it to really look like it's working, but it does work. A lot of people don't like the convey all because it's too slow or whatever, but once you understand how it works, and actually uh, Professor was the one that first told me about the little green light. I never realized that there was a green light there. And in fact, I used to not like the convey all at all because I was like, I think junk, it doesn't work. Uh, it actually does work quite well. You got to have a little bit of patience, and once you understand the uh, the green light system, it uh, it's an awesome, awesome tool. Honestly, it really is. I mean, for this application, we're not having to run up to the buildings to grab uh, seed all the time. So, how did I just leave that as a skip? Uh, these planners do that. I notice. With these tractors. I'm gonna turn around, so I'll come back and get it. I'll get that one too. Alright. Surprised these tractors are pulling these as well as they are. Not supposed to. But the almighty powerful Alice Chalmer eighty uh what is this, eighty seventy? Yeah, eighty seventy. Zach was somewhere the other day, our good buddy Zach, you know, Mr. Tony Rigatoni. 
uh, was somewhere working the other day, and he works, he does custom uh, fertilizer applications. And he was somewhere at a farm the other day, and they had an Alice 8010, but only the two wheel drive. And uh, he sent me a little Snapchat video of it. I was like, bro, just go ahead and bring that down to the farm. We'll find a place to put it. I don't know why these are skip. I feel a little uneven or something, maybe. Oh, it's smooth. It's just this tractor. Planner. You are in shambles over there, aren't you? Hey, you were doing it too back there. Not that bad. Good lord. Now, Grandpa's did have the front wheel assist, but, you know. It's, I'd love to own it someday, but uh, they're kind of spendy still. A good Alice, like, 8010 front wheel assist. Kind of spendy. Throwing that out there. Like, spendier than uh, than I could. I can spend. Plus, I don't have a... Uh, I don't really have any room to put it anywhere at the farm, so... WD's first, anyway. That's, that's higher on the list. I remember driving the WD. I don't know. I mean, I guess I did kind of drive this tractor, the 8010 that Grandpa had. Kind of. Like, sitting on Dad's lap, probably, because I was, I was pretty young. But I, I do have memories of being in the tractor. And yeah. So most of the time, I was, we were mowing stocks, and I got yelled at. Definitely remember getting yelled at. But it happens. I feel like people that grew up either on a farm or around a farm, they probably have at least a few stories of, yeah, my dad was yelling at me, or my uncle was yelling at me, or my grandpa was yelling at me, <laughs> or my grandma was yelling at me. I feel like there's a lot of those stories out there. <laughs> Just saying. Probably responsible for some uh, therapy bills today, but you know. It happens. Definitely happens. Our, our, my favorite, personal favorite is, yeah, that time dad, dad tried to kill me. I do an XYZ stupid thing at the farm. Those are fun stories too. There's probably a few people that have those stories too. I would assume. The one that comes to mind for me is we were taking down this little grain bin and we had it like chained to the tractor bucket and I don't know if a chain broke or what happened, but like the thing came flying back towards the cab of the, or not the cab, we don't have a cab, but it came flying back to the operator area of the tractor, the 995, and like I just saw this, you know, it wasn't a big grain bin, but you know, saw this grain bin like half flying up my head. I was like, this is where it ends. But luckily it didn't. But there is silver paint on the uh, the hood of the 995 from that day still. As a reminder of the day it almost almost ended. Uh, just saying. I like where we parked the the seed truck. What, like really inconveniently in the field? Yeah. That would be John. That was me. Hey, you're welcome, Hunter. Appreciate it. I think it's been moved since I parked it. Truck 5099 Shear Dix 100 Memories. Memories. What's up, Chuck? Poppin'. Yep, memories. That time Dad tried to kill me. So how are I cleaving at least this pass or two? That's alright. It doesn't matter, does it? Nothing more than memories. Are you guys like trying to plant in the most inconvenient That's what way for me to roll possible? <laughs> At least we're all in the same neighborhood. Yes. You know, other fields we were all <laughs> right apart. At least we're in the same neighborhood this time. You're welcome. <laughs> Because really, yeah, yeah we should hope I don't swap any today. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> good thing we don't have to swap corn, huh? 
That would be a really weird... That would be strange, wouldn't it? Boston corn? Yeah. That would be very yeah. odd. Yeah. The, the, just... Well, uh, we get our corn socks swathed and bailed. Oh. Well, we don't run through a swather, though, do we? Yeah. Do they? Yeah. Yeah. Like a, like a rake? No, like they go through and, like, swath the corn stalks. Oh, so after they harvest the card, then they bring in a swather and swath what's left? Yes. Okay, but I'm talking, like, whole plant. Like, running a swather through that. Yeah. That would be very odd. I feel like. I don't know. See, that whole even even bailing corn stalks is such like a foreign thing to me because like you know there's not a lot of animals around here so it's just not something i'm used to seeing so it actually goes to uh uh that's not plant the corn yeah or the okay interesting but yeah i'm just not used to seeing like you know well, balers in general, I guess that's that's one thing I'm not used to seeing around where I live anyway. There is a guy that has like, I don't know, maybe 20 cows. Yeah. And we'll see like some round bales over at his place. But And then actually there was a guy, two guys here this year. Um, and I didn't see the process and I didn't, I didn't pay attention. We don't go that way at all. Uh, but they grew hemp. And they, I guess they like mow it and bale that. I'm not really sure, but there's there's a couple piles of big old round bales. That stuff's like super coarse too. I guess I don't know. We kind of went and looked at it a little bit. Apparently, some of the guys around here are starting to get into that, which is kind of interesting if you ask me. Yeah. But I know there's still. Uh, there's probably just, like one semi load left of bales in that one pile. Something like that. Now that probably won't be hemp next year because they just put uh, they put a center pivot on that field this year. You know, big news. There's going to be uh, uh, two new center pivots this year fired up around us, which is crazy, honestly. Yeah. So, be cool to see. The one's like crazy. It's it's pretty big. The other one's kind of short. Pretty cool. Let's see it. And none of them have drops on them, Leonard. They all have sprinklers on the top of the pipe. Really? Yeah. And the oh, one even has like a riser for the nozzles so that all the nozzles are basically level. Because your pipe goes up and down, you know? Right. And then the other one just has like just nozzles right on top of the pipe. They're, di they're different brands, but should be interesting to see them, uh, see them working this year. Yeah. And they're both on like super sandy soil. So, I mean, it makes sense. Definitely makes sense. But yeah, hopefully they'll get some, I would assume they'll plant corn. Go for that high, high output corn. Be pushing like 300 bushel or something. Why not pump a little fertilizer through the, you know, through the pivot, probably? Yeah. Get her done. So, the one field, I'll, I'll definitely know numbers on, because you know, it's like the farm that used to be Grandpa's. It'll be cool to, cool to watch that this summer. But, yeah. All right, well, we're almost, well, we got one more field across the road. I was going to say, we're about done, but we have six to play in over there. Not bad. Uh, do we need to move that truck? Is that bothering people? Well, also, we can actually plant where it is. All right, it's moving. It's going to fold the auger up. 
compare the conveyor. I got it on auto drive or uh, in game AI helper. It'll handle the job. That's like the only thing I use the in game AI helper for. It works great for that kind of stuff. Just, hey, move across the field, buddy. Although he might. There you go. He got to where he was going to look at that. Wow. Impressive. I mean, he drove like, you know, 200 feet. Wow. Amazing. It's more than I thought he could do, though, honestly. It's asking an awful lot of him. Win GPS chat? Never. Never, apparently. It's kind of strange with all these textures, by the way. We got the, you know, the lime. We got the just seeded. We got the rolled. We got the fertilized. Got all of them going on today. Kind of amusing, honestly. So are we going to fill our bin set up on corn this year? Well, that we should probably fill the dryer though. 1.5 mil. Apparently we need to haul propane again. And apparently I missed on selling 239,000 corns. So, uh, that's just money for next year, right? Or this year we can sell it in June. Yeah. We can sell that here in a little bit. It'll buff. Kind of funny. I just realized something changed my game. I'm limited to 60 frames again. The settings on. Uh, huh. Did weirdly. you ever turn frame gen on? I did, and it worked great for like two days. And then I got a, a NVIDIA update. And it broke things. Oh. So I went in and like changed stuff. And then it still didn't work. And for a couple weeks now, I've been running like 120 frames, like pretty consistently, right? Yeah. And I just noticed it's only running 60 today. Hmm. And I can't unlock it with like F3, my dev tools. Nah. Not about it. My dev tools are definitely on, but 55, 56 frames like locked in. I don't know. We should go uh, line by line in the settings one of these days, Leonard. Okay. Figure it out. Although you have a better PC than me. Maybe not. Yeah, but I mean, frame gen's all that's... Yeah, but all like, that's me. But like, it worked the one time, and then, I don't know. I can't yeah. get it to, like, turn back on. For some Weird. Very, very strange. And I did like seeing the 120 frames, but like I guess at the same time it kind of doesn't matter. It just it feels so much better though. <laughs> it just it makes you feel like you know, Arm Sims an optimized game, right? Makes you feel that way. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> Man, I'm gaming in 120, 100, and, what is it? 100. Yeah, 20 frames. I'm a real gamer. 215. Okay, get out of here. 36. <laughs> Wait, is your frame gen on, Grant? It's supposed to be. I would bet it's not. Just like you. Well, mine was supposed to be on too, but there's no way. And actually, I think I have another NVIDIA update like pending right now. I don't think I did that last one that I had. I popped up the other day. I don't think I've, uh, I've done it yet. I'm kind of done doing them on my uh, stream PC. Yeah. Although you uh, were saying... There is, there is one that came out on the 5th. I don't have it yet, though. I don't either. Yeah. There's something about you can uninstall the other drivers or something. I need to do yes. that. So you do you do a custom install, and then there's like a checkbox to do like fresh, and it just it basically just completely wipes all the old version out. Yeah, I need to do that. 
<laughs> did I? Did you hear about that PC the other day? The stream PC. What? I went in the house to make dinner, and I came back out here, and, and it was in the bios. Oh yes. And I'm like, um, I don't know. I'll power the button down. It's been fine since. <laughs> yeah. Kind of fun. Let's uh, hoppers this thing on. On the one, it's on the, okay, hang on, John. All right, it's on the last one now for you, John. Good. I swear you're getting seed, not fertilizer. <laughs> it looks so weird. But I mean, it's keeping us from having to go back to the bed all the time, right? both like cedars and planter or cedar and uh fertilizer so i mean it's working it's just a little awkward looking at times that's okay All right off to our last field i think this planter might actually tip this tractor <laughs> I mean, those are three bushel boxes, you know what I mean? Like, it's a lot of weight up there. Yeah. Oh, man. Put the duels on this bad boy, then we might have some. My dad's corn planter, he's got it. It's a 3.12 row. And it doesn't even have, like, the big boxes on it. And, uh,. <clears throat> When he used to plant with the 4960, you had that thing raced up. You basically had, like, your your front tires, they weren't off the ground, but they weren't really on the ground either. <laughs> Steering with the uh, with the brakes, huh? Yes. That's, that's always a good time. But this field is, like, hard to see what's going on here, isn't it? Sun and the fresh plowed. Yeah, I could, I could see it. Being a little uh, light on the front end there. Yeah. Oh, because some of these planters, and I think it's an option here. You can even hang like suitcase weights out there. Yep. Like weight them down so they go in the ground. Yeah. Crazy. Or not necessarily on this kind of planter, but I've heard of like. People with corn planters, uh, if they don't use like the insecticide box, mm -hmm. they'll fill it with lime. Just, oh, just to add, for weight. Add weight, yeah. Dude, we don't use the insecticide box, so they're just none of them are just on there. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. It makes sense. This fell from the silo, and it'll, oh, it will tip us back then. Yes. Uh, Scott, yes, you would definitely take them to the ICU. Yes, you would. <sighs> Such a bad job. It's so bad. Ever been in an ICU, Scott? It's not fun. Not a fun place to be. Although there was that one lady that, that one time that was, uh, well, let's just put it this way. High as a kite? Did just come from surgery? Dude, she was yelling all kinds of stuff. It was hilarious. Her family was walking with her. They were, like, wheeling her on the gurney bed, you know? And her family was walking with her, and they're all laughing because she's just, like, screaming all kinds of... All kinds of fun stuff. It was it was amusing. That's about the only fun thing that's ever been an ICU, you know? Yeah. But anyway. All I got to say about that. Miss Leonard, she works in the ICU, and I told her that joke once, and she didn't think it was very funny. You've told her the the, the ICU joke about the people? Yeah, yeah. And she didn't find it amusing? No. I can't imagine why, Leonard. 
Me neither. No, we're back. Alright. Can't imagine why. It's like well. when women get married, they just like lose their sense of humor or something. <laughs> I'm sure that's what it is, yeah. I've told her that, too, and she also thinks that's not funny. <laughs> I can't imagine why. Exactly. It just proves my point. Not sure. Yeah. Not sure why. Okay. Bam. Lose their sense of humor, huh? All right. Kind of messed up, but kind of funny at the same time, you know? Yeah. I don't know how I like staff at an ICU, like from top to bottom, staff, how they can like live their life. Honestly, I don't. Not a clue. Just saying. Maybe lots of like box wine. Maybe does that help? Not while uh, they're at work. I don't know. In Miss Leonard's case, it you know, just a really awesome husband, I guess. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> That's definitely what it is. Yeah. <laughs> you just hurt My your theory. shoulder. Don't hurt your shoulder. Patting yourself on the back, okay? <laughs> Gosh. I I do it all the time. It's so like I'm, you know, I'm stretched out. And oh, okay. Under. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Uh, oh, yes, yes, I, yes, you have. Yes, definitely. When did she get one of those? <laughs> About uh, five years ago, actually. Yeah, Leonard, who's that? <laughs> Has it really been five years? In October, yeah. Golly. That's crazy. I still think it's funny that, like, you and I have known each other longer than you and your wife have known each other. Yeah. I don't know why I find that amusing personally. Yeah. Oh, man, the trees. They're so snowy. Why can't they see the bits? I'm awake, I swear. This isn't Thursday night stream where I was literally... Liter okay, so Thursday night, I was tired playing Expedition, right? We played trains. We played trains. I was so tired. I don't remember what we played. Played trains. I literally, after stream, I like, uh, you know, muted, obviously, in TeamSpeak and stuff, and like sat here, and immediately I fell asleep for like 10 minutes. I took a little nap. I was so tired. But yeah, I was, oh, it was terrible. Absolutely terrible. That's okay. It's from, you know, working at the farm. We had a big project, you know. Just two whole bags of concrete, man. Big project. I was tired. I was so tired. But that's all right. I got some good sleep last night. It'll, it'll be okay. It'll buff. Every time we come to this field, I'm like, oh, that field's not that big. This field's freaking huge. Massive. Huge. Big field. And it's like a pretty uh, pretty good producer for corn, at least. It's got some good dirt. That's why we bought it. Plus, it was in our price price range. It, was, it fit the budget at the time, you see, so. Yeah. All right, John, I'm going to leave you a skipper. We're going to, you know, do our skip thing. We got this. How many parked the other planer right in the way? Well, he said he'd be right back. He didn't even finish it. Which, he's like four feet from being done there. Yeah. <laughs> At least he got out of it, right? Unlike other people that sit in the semi when they leave. True. Hi, it's me. Prop. It happens. I think our grass is ready to cut, too. 
that out there. Well, at least it's well kind of seated. I think there's still a skipper there, isn't there? Probably. See, yeah, there's still a little. We'll get it. We will get it. But yeah, always forget how how this field like crazy. Crazy, crazy. Right. I see. Seven. Oh, Bellis, no. I've never been a patient in ICU. That sounds terrible, though. That sounds horrible. Absolutely horrible. Yeah, no, thank you. The the really and this is more lighthearted. The the one uh, I see that Mom was in down at uh, uh, big hospital in St. Louis, old hospital. It's actually I don't use it anymore, but built a new one next door. But you know you don't think about like a person in the ICU. Usually they're like really sick. They don't need to like you know use the bathroom per se. And if they are, they're not like getting up to use the bathroom. So this ICU room or all these ICU rooms. They had a toilet that was on like a like a hinge and it would swing out from underneath the sink in the room. <laughs> and it's like that is the weirdest thing ever. But people have died, they're not really getting up to use the bathroom, you know? Cause uh spoiler, people in the ICU are really sick, you know. So it's like we just didn't think about that. It had never been in yeah, it was just like kinda weird. It was very strange. It was very old hospital too, though. They're not like super old, but yeah, still pretty darn old. It was a very odd thing when we first walked in. There was like, "What the heck is that?" Okay, very weird. But actually, during when that when we were there, they had just broken ground on the new hospital and they're all like moved in there now it's all fancy and state-of-the-art private rooms and all the fancy stuff yeah because that other part of the, the part mom was in there for a while they had like some rooms with two people and then for this one part they had i don't even know what was going on there but there were like five or six people in the room i guess they needed like more monitoring or something and I think it was more like they weren't like sick sick but they were like flight risk so they actually just had like a nurse in that room all the time like on a computer like watching them make sure they wouldn't run away or something but she wasn't like in the psych ward so I don't I don't it was weird it was very strange like, I, I don't know it was it was really weird but yeah they were very happy to get out of that place let's put it that way That might have been the place to like the first night we went down there. Of course, it was like 1130 at night. We had to like go through a metal detector. Y'all don't have any guns, do you? <laughs> you know, kind of kind of thing like that. We had to get escorted around the hospital by security that night. To go from like the ER to like surgery waiting room. And then the 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 security guard was like, well, if you need to go to your car or anything, like, call security. Like, don't leave this room. Unless you call us first. And Dad and I are just like, what the heck is going on here, man? But that hospital is down in the city, basically, and, you know, they have a lot of gunshot wound victims and security risk uh, are a concern, you know? So... Uh... Other hospitals I'd been to, it, it was not so much of an issue. Out here in the burbs, you know, so. Yeah, kind of well, kind of a whole different world down there. We'll just say that. Why are we going east-west on this field? Uh, because that's the way Trent started on this field. 
And it's probably better because we're not climbing the hill all the time with our thunder horsepower tractor tractors. I'm back. He's back. A giant. Welcome. Oh, we're. Oh, get off GPS. Yep, we're staring at the. Oh, uh, yep. I thought you were over there more, so I was like, oh, I'll take this one. I guess not. But yeah, I think this is probably actually better for not climbing the hills, right? Could be wrong. And the passes are longer, too. Yeah. Uh, old man, hello. Uh, it was an every night occurrence there. After visiting hours, it, it, the hospital is in lockdown every night. Every night. The piece of field over here that's not planted, by the way. Yeah, I'm I'm on my way. But yeah, it was an every night occurrence. Um, very bad part of town where the. <laughs> very very bad part of town. And like I said, they can deal with, you know, gunshot victims and stuff like all night long. So, yeah. Then you're dealing with, you know, high emotions and gang related activities and all kinds of fun stuff. You know? And then actually it was funny the next morning. So we stayed in that uh, waiting room, like literally all night. And the next morning they came in and they like told us, you know, things were whatever. And they didn't tell us that black hat, uh, black hat, thanks for bits. And, uh, they're like, yeah, you guys might as well go down to the cafeteria and get you some breakfast, whatever. So we go down cause everybody had to wear one of those like badges, you know, visitor badge, you know, and we go down the elevator and we're kind of meandering our way. Never been in this hospital before. We didn't know where we were going and we ended up finding like the front desk. Uh, other John or original John, one of you what? guys are gonna have to go replant that. Replant what? I ran out. Oh. John's turn around. Uh, but anyway, we had the wrong color badge on because we were from the previous day. I would, I like, those security guards were about to get up and tackle us. And we're just like, bro, we were in the waiting room all night because I thought we, like, snuck in or something. It was. Wild. Dang, almost. That's crazy. That's crazy. But it's good too, I guess. Hello. Can I help you? Oh. Oh jeez, this thing needs to be repainted again, by the way. Definitely. Shut down after 10, I got you, old man. Yeah, see, I can go to our local hospital, and as long as you have a room number and you say a name, and it matches to their paperwork, you, they'll open the door for you. It has like a magnet lock on the top, and they'll, they'll buzz you in. They don't care. Even if it's after visiting hours. So. Yeah. Depending on what's going on, you know. Yeah. That makes sense. What's that? A little bit in the shed. Yeah, you do. Know. Somehow, uh -huh. when I backed up, to you know, like how we had the planners. Yeah. Ah, uh, possibly Sean, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, Trent? <laughs> Wait, you hooked up both of them? Yeah, get it, get it. They're not hooked up, though. This is what Leonard was talking about, the front wheels, you know. <laughs> you know, a little heavy, or a little light, you know. If you like lower it, you can get unattached from it. Uh huh. I've, I've done this like twice now. 
That's a future us problem. <laughs> Down's out here doing donuts, you know, it's a whole thing. Alright, I'm going to the field with this water. Because we can't let Leonard's left. Why? Because he threatened us. He threatened you, not us. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do the swathing so that, you know. It's done no, the right I way. I thought I was getting the swath. No! <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not, sir. Can I buy my tractor yet? No. We have the money. What tractor do you want? Is that? It's a cheap one. Uh huh. With the methane tractor? No. No, no, no. It's not, it's not even really a mean tractor. And I have no idea. I will do... I will do a contract to pay for it. What tractor is it? The secret. I, I, I need to know if I... How much, how much is it? Okay, that I can tell you. Hold on, hold on. And how much horsepower does it have? 43.5. Is it an old tractor? Yes. I feel like we're playing Guess Who right now. Does your person have a mustache? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is your person a female? No. With a mustache? No? No. Oh. Uh, That's fine. Go ahead. Cause that's actually bigger horsepower than like the deer or the old farm all so we could like swap one of them you know eventually what deer the little deer and they that there they got just over 100 horsepower don't they oh my goodness i'm so excited so these are what we call frost bales or wait wait this is what we call my games broken <laughs> For the record, John, I don't know. You wouldn't tell me. We'll see it in a minute, I'm sure. Hashtag frost bales. Or something like that. Oh, line, them lines. But I have a feeling we will see this tractor. I've got bad news. Yeah, what's up? Like it says, it goes twenty-one miles an hour. Uh huh. But it goes, but it goes eleven. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna need some bales hauled in a minute. <laughs> eleven. What tractor do we have in the mods? It's a modded tractor, right? Yeah. I have no idea what tractor it is. Oh, is it the? It's a John Deere, right? Yeah, like it's it's supposed to go twenty one. Oh, hold on, we hit twelve for a second. Hit the hit the plus on your keyboard. Does it shift up? I know what tractor it is. If it does, I know which one it is. Yep. Some of the modded old tractors have shifting problems. Oh, just like just like real life, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Actually, what? the um, 8000 series John Deere is going to take a look I, at eventually. I have it. Yeah, yeah. I thought of it like as I was turning the server around this morning. I was like, oh, yeah, I was supposed to add mods. <laughs> I uh, kind of didn't think about farm sim all week. Took a little break, you know? Yes, John, we are definitely wrapping. Definitely wrapping. That is true. The bales will be white here momentarily. So yeah, hashtag frost bale. Betcha. Making some marshmallows. Yep, we're gonna wrap these and we're gonna store them up at the uh, biogas with the rest of them. Yeah.
Okay, chat, going back to our little uh, party for next weekend, right? Our little family get together. I'm not sure how many people are going to be there. It, it does have the potential to be like 40 people or something, right? Or something. I'm not really sure. But like, what else? The pretzels, right? That's a good, that's a W idea, right? What else should we take? Like a box of wine? That would be such a redneck thing to do. I would kind of do it just to, you know, see their reaction. I think the pretzels are a Debbie idea. With like some dips, maybe, you know, for the pretzels. I think that's a good idea. Definitely going to happen. If I can convince Dad, it's a good idea. We'll see what he says. Because I know Dad's the type of person where it's like, oh, they said don't bring anything. Well, he's not going to take anything, you know? You got to take something, you know? Just saying. Do we just have one Baylor? Uh, no, we have two. It's in the horse arena. In the indoor arena. Or in the... What do they call that? There's a name for that. I guess it's just called an arena. Yeah. All of our bailing, like, breaking, wrapping, all that equipment's in the arena. Because our main shed was full. <laughs> and we don't have horses yet. Someday, maybe. Possibly. We will see. Paddock? I I guess. Paddock? Be a, no. Huh? What are you trying to think of a name for? The arena. Like the covered indoor arena in the horse park. Like covered next to the horse park. An arena. That's, That's, what what I, That's it. It's just an arena, right? Yeah. Okay. A paddock is like, like the outdoor part, right? But see, the most people would just call that like a uh, pasture, or or like a dry lot. That's that's a term that's used too. Obviously, that's that's dirt, not, not grass, you know. Yeah. I don't know. It's over there yonder, and that it's. It's, yep. You find it? Oh, maybe. Yeah. All right. That's right where I left it, right? Probably. Can't wait to see this tractor. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. I'm pretty sure. And if it is what it is, then probably going to actually, like, sell a track, right? I don't know if we can get rid of anything over that's not over 100 horsepower. Do we own a tractor that's under we own two of them. Under 100? Mm-hmm. Is that the Farballs? Mm, I think so. I don't want to look because I don't want to spoil the tractor that he bought. I'm purposely not looking in the shop right now. Waiting for it to come driving down the road. Oh, you'll see it. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm guessing there might even be something floating in the sky behind that tractor. That's what exactly that? what I thought it would be. <laughs> it's the 50 series, that? right? Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that the one that has the floating uh, top mm -hmm. link? Yeah. I just don't see it right now. Back there somewhere, though. Oh, man. That thing looks like a tank. I don't know. Like a beast. I always thought that tractor was cool over on uh, Westby when we had it. I like it.
Because if we sell the two tractors, it basically pay for the tractor he just bought, or at least half of it. Oh, wow. Right, I gotta get this turned down. Turn down. That's better. I'm leaving skippers over here because my auto width is like just right at the edge of the world here. Oh, yeah. I got you, Bells. Welcome in. We're playing Alma, Missouri. Good old Alma, Missouri. Yeah, so the covered part with like sand where they run a horse run horses around, we'd call that an arena here. An arena. Yeah. Oh that is true actually. Left we can upgrade those farm hall tractors to three hundred horsepower. We should do that with one just to see like how OP it is. I forgot about that though, yeah. We definitely can. It's a little insane, I would imagine. What are we buying? I'm trying to top off the mail. Tinder. Yeah. I gotcha. And actually fix it so it's somewhat organized and not a discombobulated mess that it was. I say, do we need to fill it with like auger wagons or something to get it right? I ended up doing just to make sure before I topped it all off. That way it's ready to go for next planting right. season. Okay. Good. Good. So if, in case you decide to spend all of our money, we at least have money. We have some seed to plant with. I would never. <laughs> yeah, okay. That dollar amount up there is just burning a hole in your pocket. It right really now. is. It kind of hurts me every time I look up there. I almost want to get a sticky note and like put it over my monitor. <laughs> oh. 31, 32. Kills me, Chad. It kills me. Wait, you think soybeans are a pain? Why are soybeans a pain? They're like the easiest crop in the game. Cotton, yeah, because you got to have like special equipment and stuff. But soybeans, really? They're like the easiest crop in the world. What's what's the pain about soybeans? I'm I'm interested. I'm here. I'm invested. Sign me up. Put me in, coach. So Leonard, if I would have said that one has shifting problems, would you still have bought it? No. <laughs> He sounds so defeated. <laughs> no. It's fine, but... If you hit your plus key on your keyboard, it should shift up. Yeah, I've, I mean, I've fixed okay. it, but... Yeah, it's kind of gutless. Yeah? No, yeah, I, I think mean... it's, like, shifting issue related. Like, sometimes it just, like, just won't go. Yeah. Probably a good course play tractor. It looks cool. It looks real good. It'd be really good for running like an auger. Right? Yeah. There are two machines needed for a single play. For, for soybeans or cotton? There's two machines needed for any kind of harvest contract. Doesn't matter what the crop is. You're going to have, you know... A harvester and like a, t a tractor or a tipper that's anything you harvest you're gonna have to have that so what's an easy crop then compared to soybeans i'm so like i'm i'm here for this conversation i really am i'm waiting Baby. The suspense is killing me. Uh, but... Sunflower, oat, and corn. But you need the same machines for sunflowers, oats, and corn. You need a combine and you need a dipper. And if anything on corn, you have a higher uh, yield. 
so you'd have more to haul away. You have to make more trips with your tipper. Very interesting. I mean, everybody's entitled to their opinion, obviously. I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to understand, you know? Just trying to understand, that's all. Very interesting. Extra pink lemonade gum. So, strawberry? Interesting, Sean. Very, very interesting. How do you just find that? How do you, how do you go about finding Was that like a impulse buy at the checkout or like, how do you, how do you go about finding that? Yes. Okay. Tastes like pink lemonade. Oh, there's that floating three point. Let's Top go. Point. Let's go. Oh, best you could harvest without anything to move your cotton bales too. You could just drive them to the cell point. You know. We can make that argument about anything. Yeah. Gotcha, Sean. Okay. I got you with the impulse buy. I got you. Walmart. Big, big gum. Got you, Sean. Big gum. They got you. It happens. Definitely happens. Three point three million dollars worth of poppy and paid off the loan. Holy cow, big Al. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's a fair bit. That's pretty cool, big Al. Uh, awesome, Mrs. Professor. Welcome in. How's it going? Hi, Leonard. I'm. I'm on a mission. On a mission, huh? You gonna fix yes. that tractor? Yes. All right. Big guy, we'll catch you. All right. I've just never heard anybody say that soybeans are a pain. I was just interested, you know? That's all. Sprite flavored chicken. I had no idea that that was the thing either, Sean, honestly. There's a whole world out there. I just, I just, you know. I did see something about the new Oreos. New Oreos. Yeah. I forget what they are. Like dirt, dirt pie or something, Oreos. I forget what it is. Oh, there's like two Oreos right now that are out that are different. It's, have you guys been to a grocery store and looked at the Oreo section? Good Lord. Yeah, there's a lot. There's like 75 different kinds. What's wrong it's, with that? Yeah, what's wrong with that, John? Because I want to buy them all. <laughs> Oh, that's, the, that's only stop, the only person stopping you is you, so. Yeah. I just, I don't, I try not to walk down that aisle. To be honest, it's not a, it's not a fun aisle to walk down, you know? Not a fun aisle. I mean, it is fun, but like, not fun. But it is fun. It's not fun. We're catching yes. up to you, John. Didn't know they made tic tac. I didn't even know they made tic tacs either, honestly. Uh, the peeps? Ew. Space is very amazing. Interesting. 
that the the peeps are definitely something we could just do without you know as a, as a as a nation as a world you know what i mean like we could just do without peeps right at least in my opinion they are no and candy corn yes i could do without candy corn as well no Sean, I knew you would. I knew of all of everybody here, Sean was going to be the one to say that he loves peeps. I knew it. I knew Sean would, though. Peeps are gross. I mean, I love marshmallows. I, I just, I don't. All right, there's two people. Three people. <laughs> All right, guys. Favorite candy corn. Ugh. Fire shadow. All right. I guess. I guess I'm overruled on the whole peeps thing. Then that's fine. How about this? Y'all can have them. I don't want them. More for y'all about that more for y'all less for me because no oh. i think the last time i had a beep was probably like 10 years ago though to be honest i don't like marshmallows are not peeps yeah oh we have a poll for this let's go you don't like candy corn but you like the pumpkins i'll eat like three pieces of candy corn a year and that's it <laughs> that's literally the candy corn that i have about three pieces i'm done first time i'll eat it but no you're not pushing peeps on the corner well that's good <laughs> oh man yo this poll is wild go vote the poll guys Oh, did the poll? Oh, man. Sean missed a, uh, an option. What? Eh. Like, are they okay? Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Excuse the answers. Uh, I mean, I guess if you think they're nah, you just don't, you just don't vote, you know? Because, yeah, I guess there's no never tried. Whoa, go back, just say they're gross, okay? They're, they're no, just say no. <laughs> Trust me, just say no. Like the nose are getting it. Let's go, let's go. Oh, hello, Trent. Bam. Good thing I have good brakes on this swather. Even though in real life you slam on the brakes like that, you might go through the windshield. I am. That's all right. Well, this, these, like, frosty, this could go away anytime now, and I'd be okay with it. The, the frost. Always misses Professor, always. Alright, we're just gonna, um, gonna, I'm gonna park this over in that corner and just leave it there, because I'm gonna have to pass time some more and go again. Eventually. Eventually. Yep, always, always, always misses Professor. He knows one speed, and that's yes. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. Sean, just get some sugar and sprinkle it on your sandwich. You'll be good. That's pretty much the same thing. 
That was a close uh, pull there, guys. I had no idea it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a landslide, but like. Pepsi, peep, soda. Man, I never even tried that, Sean. By the way, none of our fields need herbicide because, well, we, we haven't fast time. timed. That's why. We haven't fast timed. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. I was like, wait a minute. Beeps are gross. Okay. All right, Ms. Walker. I agree. That's funny. So, peeps are basically like marshmallow covered in like sugar. That's pretty much what peeps are, right? Speaking of a sprayer, do we have money? Can we buy a sprayer this time? You can buy a South for a pound. Uh, but I can buy a tow behind a whole lot cheaper. Um. 148,000 we can have a tow behind. 148,000 we can have a tow behind. That's not terrible. You know, as soon as you buy one, it's going to pop up on sale. I know. I know. It's 250 plus thousand for the... Uh... Three hundred fourteen thousand for the other one. But if we buy it now, we got corn to sell, so that I could make up some of it. Do what? We got corn to sell. We can make up. We some do of have corn. Yeah, that is true. We do have corn to sell, but. I mean, we have one more day of potential sale barn, right? Might as well take advantage of that because we don't need it today anyway. So, in game day. And I'm pouring beverage. I'm right sorry. I'm distracted by my beverage. Distracted farming. All right. Somebody forget the bell, Winro. What can pull it decent? Uh, probably those two tracks, but we'd have to slap it on for now. Uh, to be honest. I think it's fixed. <clears throat> Is it really? I think so. That's the funny. Top link issue too. Oh yeah, you get the top link too, or no? Or just the shifting? I'm not trying to be picky now. I'm just asking. No, I... No, not the top link is still there. That's fine. Not a huge thing. It's just kind of back here somewhere sometimes. I mean, this tractor is a beast. Hey, uh, John, where are you going with that tractor? Me, John, or other John? One, one of the Johns. One, one of the Johns is trying to bail her away from the unveiled row. Oh, is there still an unveiled row? I thought it was done. No, oh, I said it. there's a row over here that still needs to be bailed. Then why did he drive away with the other one? I give up. Yeah, well, that was clocked in bales. Oh, no, John. He just, like, left the field. I don't know. That's not our issue. We're I just it, wrapping and collecting bales. I thought it was done, so that's why I was going to go park this over with the other one for now. I'm not going to make a bale. Well, I might make a bale. I might. Yeah, me too, John. Oh, hey, 98%. 99%. You can make a bail. Go up to one of the corners. I got it, right here. Here we go. I made a bail. Get after it, buddy. I need a new place to live. Oh, it's every Saturday. I, well, I'm usually not home during the it's, week. I so. say it's probably every day. <laughs> you just don't hear it. Yeah. That's true. 
How, how much longer you got on your lease? I haven't had a lease contact, contract for ages. It's just been... You're just still living there, huh? Yeah. I, I don't have a lease. I already... The initial lease is already done. I'm just still living here. Do I find a place to buy or something? Are you technically month to month, or you're just, you're just kind of there? Uh, month to month, I think, technically. <laughs> uh, do we have the fertilizer out there somewhere still, or no? It's ah. put away. Put it's away. filled up. Right, it. I, I just, I should have looked at Chad, but I, you know, it's a whole thing. Oh, audio, hello. Only audio hooking up to the thing, not like, you know. It's fine, John. I thought the field was done too, so. No worries. And I'm the one that mowed it all, you know? It's all good. Seriously, can it not be frosted anymore? What are you, fast time? I probably have to restart my game. Or at least reconnect the server. I don't really want to want to do that unless I have to. That's okay. Pile of equipment over here. So Leonard, that tractor is that easy to fix? Like shifting? So <clears throat> I just I just took like the uh, all the transmission information from one of the forty twenties and just moved it over to the fifty thirty and it works pretty good. Wow. Interesting. You should, uh, you should, like, charge for that. Right. Send it back to the mod author and be like, yo, I fixed your mod. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> you should definitely do that. That's funny. Never thought about doing that. Just pulling the old swapsy potato, right? Yep. Makes sense. Got a tractor that works well. Might as well. You know, when I was talking about frames earlier, maybe my game is just dying today. Because now, now I see like 80, 90 frames. I don't know where I look. So. Yeah, yeah I just, just saw bugging. 74. Wow. Interesting. You see the link. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 I got you. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Yeah, that top link, it's it's a thing that follows that tractor around for some reason. I haven't quite figured that one out. Not that I've tried. No. But that fertilizer is good for your paint. Can you imagine how bad that would sound? Just driving a tractor through fertilizer spreader spread pattern. Like when the salt trucks go by in the winter and like somebody's parked in the street and their car just gets pelted by all the salt. It sucks. All right, I fixed the arm too. Did you really? Yeah. <clears throat> well, I didn't fix it. I just, just hit it. Removed it. Okay. Interesting. So new modded tractor coming soon, chat. Update, update to the mod, yeah. Which I want to update. I want to add some mods to the server, anyways. Perfect. 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 Maybe give me something to do uh, tomorrow or something. No bonus during tomorrow, chat. That'll be too. No, not happening. A Tuesday. Grab it. Most likely. I feel like there's a bell missing somewhere, but... A bell missing? Yeah, because I only got nine. Two loads plus nine. That oh. was a lot. Uh... I don't know. That could be wrong. Could just be... Well, I actually mowed, like, outside the boundary a little bit, too, so it should have been extra, right? 
That might be extra. Not sure. Or do we need to lime this again? Mm, I think it'd be alright for one more cutting. I mean, it says, yeah. It says okay. Or wait, that says good. Looking at the nitrogen one, that's like, yeah, it's alright. It'll buff. It, it could use a quarter. Places. Yeah. It'll buff. There's something like that. Alright, this will be the last pass fertilizer, and then we'll probably go to uh, fast time again, right? Probably. He's so much corn. Can't wait to see. Could be so much. Good thing we have two, uh, two trucks. Probably gonna need it. That's all right. John, it's not everybody's game looks like this right now. Right? Like, left ear game doesn't have the frost, right? I have the frost. We all have the frost? The ones that joined before oh, last time. It broke for all of us this time. Okay, normally it doesn't break for all of us. Normally it breaks for, like, one person. Yeah, see, John doesn't have it. It's Something's wrong either with the map or, I, I don't know, it, like, glitches out. Not sure. Uh, the easy dev would get rid of this, like, a pile of snow, but not like the frost. So. I just, I just sent you the fix tractor. Yes, you did. I heard it and everything. Thank you. You're welcome. I will add it on here probably tomorrow. So like so when I had both both tractors like in my single player just now testing, one of them, the old one, it said the transmission type was manual, and then the new one that says the transmission type is power shift. Oh. I don't know what that means, but the power shift one works. Interesting. Alright. Are you talking about auto with for GPS? Is that what we're talking about? All right, Leonard, I got another mission for you to fix. Okay. Why is there no audio in the shed? Oh, yeah, I can't help you there, Chief. But you're telling me the server's still working? Looks like it. Did we take the rest chat and just resync real quick? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Cause I can't stand that. It's so, it's not. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Hurting my head. Yeah, I'm out. Watch it not let me back in. <laughs> um, I think the server broke. You're not supposed like, to say that. I, like, I'm stuck in a tractor and I can't do anything. <laughs> I'm sinking in. 